I had firsthand information about what happened. You don't need to be opening your mouth about nobody in their life. This is a life-changing situation from this brother. And so we as the melanin, melanin-rich people, especially you sisters, you need, we need to get together and raise up our vibration and do something about yes. this. Do something oh, about this. Okay. Because whether, whether the brother sold drugs or whatever, whatever not, I'm not saying selling drugs or buying drugs or doing drugs. I'm not saying that is the best thing to do. What I'm saying is this. The same ones who are trying to accuse him, the government and the feds and all of that, they are known drug dealers and they get away with it every damn day. And they, they dope up our children. Doping up our children legally mm-hmm. and getting away with it, and none of y'all ain't going nowhere near them talking crap. None of y'all. Those of you who say, oh, well, he's a drug dealer, he needs to fry. Are you serious? You're not going to say it to the pink man all day. Go ahead, my sister. Mm, well, I was going to say for those of you, because, you know, a lot of times people have issues with us calling him doctor. And, like, you know, everybody knows indigenously, our people, the, the, the mothers, the women of the village, crowned the king. We crowned him doctor. He's a healer. He healed, he's healed a host of different people that we have known, like this said, all around the world that have contacted us about Dr. Tahuti, and he knows it. So I just want to say as well, uh, because it's, it's really bothering me, like a lot of people who have been, you know, that, you know, been his supporters and, and those that acted like they supported him. And then as soon as these allegations come, they just jumping on a bandwagon, stand on him. I really have an issue with that. I really do. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, I'm just going to say, if, you know, I like to, these are allegations. And were you, were you supporting him before? You know, were you helping? Were, was you getting him monetary, you know, to help him if that was the case? Because we don't know. But I'm just going to say, if you know for a fact that you're, you're, a lot of these, um, you know, people, the people that's in the community that's attempting to help liberate the people, our pe- people spiritually, emotionally, you know, with information and things of that sort, if you know you're not lifting them up and helping them in a way that's going to support them, then, it, you know, bread, bread or whatever, you have no right to try to condemn nobody for doing anything because you have to your part. But I'm just exactly. so happy that I, I yes, sisters on here to talk about the situation that's going on with her father to bring some clarity because it's really bothering me that I'm seeing a lot of negativity, you know, um, about this. You know, he dealt with a lot just bringing the teachings that he brought. And then, mm-hmm. and then he's in a situation like that, this and no one is supporting him. You know, I, I, did anybody try to contact him, write letters, try to get information? Like she said, contact the young sister to see what was going on with him. A lot of people did, you know. So I'm just, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm just happy that we got her here to kind of bring some clarity and just, you know, give a little bit of information to the people and get some information out so we all can support and contact him. Um, and send y'all energy, you know, just some, some positive energy out there and, you know, wherever. So I'm I'm ready when you ready, sis. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, I see some of you still coming in. Where y'all been? Y'all five minutes late. But that's cool. This is Wake the Hell of Wednesday, and um, you listen to myself, Empress T. Can you don't, a.k.a. KJ, is on the line with us, and we're going to bring the sister on. Um, sis, you want to go ahead and bring her in if she's um, – there's so many numbers on the board, I can't even uh, – you know the board better than I do, but if you see her, go ahead and bring her in. I think if not, this is her. Sis, are okay. you there? Peace, sisters. Peace. What's your hey. um, Tell everybody your name. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, this is Tanetta Natural Tahuti's daughter, his oldest. <laughs> oh, peace, peace. Yeah. Welcome yeah, to the show. Exactly. Welcome to the show. Um, we are going. We're gonna. You know, we're gonna just let you go and and tell all this. And and um, of course, we probably have a couple questions. But you are here to. Um, and I don't even want to say to clear your daddy's name because really, 
when a person is when a person is innocent, they say they're innocent of doing something. They don't need to be having to go all over the country to try to clear their damn name. People mm-hmm. need to get their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? But I I think that I really appreciate you using this platform to at least come on for those who are concerned and want to know what the hell is going on with Dr. Tahuti. So I do appreciate right. you coming on with us and um you know and I guess clearing the air for some of these knuckleheads who want to believe mm-hmm. what the hell they. They want to believe. <laughs> I'll say it like right. that. So, um, so if you want to just go ahead and, and jump in there or you want us to just guide right. however you want yeah. to do it, fine with me. Um, well, first let me uh, start off by saying, um, you know, anyone who's out there thinking that I'm just covering for my father saying he's innocent because he's my father, that that's totally wrong, you know. Right. Um, anyone who Anyone who knows my father personally and who's looking at these allegations, can tell that's not natural, Tahuti. So, mm-hmm. sorry, I'm done with my friend at the same time. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, okay, so let's start with, um, as I said before, the, the whole thing is, is basically a setup. He was visiting someone in Erie, Pennsylvania. He's not from Erie, so he doesn't even know Erie. He was visiting someone. Um, he, the person he was visiting was saying it's like an efficiency. So I guess they're calling it a hotel or whatever. But um, mm. with him being there within, I would say, no more than an hour, the dude said, I'll be right back. So my father's asking him, like, you know where you're going. He said, I'll be right back. Just stay right here. He left, and within five minutes of him leaving, SWAT came in, had rifles and guns all in my father's face, slamming him on the ground. Um, they wow. searched the room. They They came in you know, stating that they were looking for this one dude. He wasn't there. So they searched the room. Um, I guess they found the drugs, the heroin, and they found a, a gun. Now, in the process of them arresting my father, the dude who just left sends my father a text and says, oh, throw the work in the toilet. So right then and there, they're like, okay, well, we're going to hit you with conspiracy because you knew these drugs and this gun was here if he texts you this. So oh, wow. right there, my father's like, okay, well, I know it was a setup because why would you be texting me this right now? You knew all along that these cops were coming. So wow. he goes in, he's there, and he just gets there, and they they starting to hit him with extra charges. He told me they were investigating um, someone overdosing. Uh, this was a couple weeks ago he told me about this, and finally, I guess they finally just charged him with it. Um they were trying to say that he snuck it in. I don't know how he was sneaking in because when he first comes in, they have to do a full body search. Now, when they did the right. full body search, right. they found nothing on him. They even brought the dogs in. They found nothing. But now, all of a sudden, because you got these two people that overdosed, and they're saying, oh, well, we got it from him. He was, he was in the room with the uh, dude who overdosed. So, you know, it goes on him. Now, I'm not mm-hmm. sure if they're trying to cover up for where they really got it from or what the, mm-hmm. you know, what the motive was, but I know this is not my father. I know. And can't nobody tell me different. Right. Would your, would your father, would he, um, I, just, I sound funny saying your father, because I've never talked to you before. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've actually talked with you this whole time. I never, ever met you. So, But um, I, I want to ask you this, and, I, and I'm not being funny. I'm just asking um, mm-hmm. for you to, to, to give the answer. But would Dr. Tahuti, um tell you something just, in other words, would he um, tell you something that wouldn't be to- the total truth? to make you think that he wasn't involved? Would he, is he that kind of person to you? I mean, you know him better than everybody else. Now, Do you know he, him now he would not be truthful with you? He's, to me, he's not only my father. Me and my father have a real close, tight relationship. We're, we're like best friends. Like, I can come to him for advice, and sometimes he comes to me for advice. So before, it, 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 he comes to me before he will go to anyone else. Now, when this investigation first started, he told me, and he told me not to tell the rest of the family because he didn't want to upset the rest of the family until we knew what was going on. So, no, my father would never tell me anything wrong just to get, you know, my hopes up and then later be disappointed. He's not that, he's not that person. He would tell me whether he's right or wrong because he knows I'm going to be by his side no matter what. Right, 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 right. 
Wow. Um, the these uh they they're saying that when he well, okay let me let me just digress for a minute the the uh, news clip a couple mm-hmm. of times and by someone who used to work in law enforcement it, and I, I'm sure I toss this to the people who listen to the show um, certain words would throw you off because they don't really have the whole thing so they use they have to use certain words because they can't just come out and say. You know, uh, somebody did this and somebody did that because if they do make the accusation and it's not true, that they can be sued. Then that can come out mm-hmm. and say, "Yeah, he did. He did that." So if you listen to the clip, it was a lot of key words in there that they were saying. Um, I believe he did this. I mm-hmm. believe. I'm like, how, how, how the hell you put a charge on somebody? Tell me, I believe. Either, either uh, you I've got that too. <laughs> or you don't. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense I, to me. Either you got evidence mm-hmm. or you don't. But we're talking about I believe. Which makes it's a it's a personal opinion at that point when you say I believe, and mm-hmm. so that threw me off altogether. Like I said, and and I want to say this again because I was not there, but mm-hmm. people are uh people are treating you know any kind of um uh drug issue or drug sales or whatever. If it's a, if it's something that shouldn't be done, so be it. But I, what I don't like is people are treating it as if he raped somebody or he did something to somebody. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not that you're not even thinking about the idea that maybe perhaps this could be set up. You're not even thinking about that. You know, mm-hmm. it could be or it could not be. But what I'm saying is the same people that are accusing him or putting these charges on him or saying he did it or whatever, they are the biggest drug deal- dealers on this planet. These are the right. same people that are the biggest drug dealers on this planet. So I just want our people to stop giving so much energy to my thing is if you can't say anything positive or, or put any kind of positive energy to this, then don't put anything in there at all. I expect those mm-hmm. people who who were all who well, they were already against him. First of all, this brother right. comes out and says that the black woman is God. Not only does he say the black woman is God, he tells you why he says it. He tells right. you step by step why he is saying that. And he is encouraging and uplifting women, you know, and in and, and every, and every walk of life. He's uplifting us with this. So all I'm saying is that we just really need to not be so judgmental about what he is doing or what he's got to go through. But we got to find a way to raise his energy, not just raise the energy, but raise his damn money. Because he mm-hmm. needs to pay that. You know what I'm saying? He needs money. He needs, you know, energy is money. We need to raise That's the energy, right. raise the money in any way that you can. And it, and like I said about Dr. Umar's school last week, if you don't have it, then you need to share it, you know, pass it around to somebody who's watching. They may be able to get, you know, give this amount of money or whatever have you. Now, I'm going to ask you some other questions. And um, the, the, uh, the, Somebody said something on uh, one of the posts, and they said, and then you, when you answer this question, you don't have to get off into the details, but, I mean, it's totally mm-hmm. up to you, but you don't have to get off into the details, but somebody posted and said, um, well, you know, what about why, how come you're not contacting the House of Consciousness? You know what I'm saying? Um, and again, it's totally up to you if you want to answer it, but you know, uh, all the people that he rolled with over there, are they coming together saying, hey, we're going to help this brother, or is it just nobody's talking right now, or, or what kind of vibe are you getting from that at this point? Um, well, I, I've had people, you know, reach out to me. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I, the way I feel about the situation is this is somebody that you guys deal with on a daily basis. Like, you guys are good mm-hmm. friends behind all of this. So I don't feel as though I should have to chase you down or reach out to you. Right. You know what situation he's in already. You should be contacting me, asking me, okay, what needs to be done? So that's how I feel about the mm-hmm. situation. Mhm, mhm. Yeah, me too. KJ, you got any questions, my sister? Because you know I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, um, I was going to ask, have you been, have a lot of people have, you know, been reaching out to you as far as 
um, checking on you, see how you know, see how that is doing, or ha how has that been going? Like, what type of support system do you have? Because it seems like you're dealing with this, uh, um, like I have a, a, a heavy load on you right now. It, it, it's it's such a heavy load. Oh, it it really is. And as many friends and supporters that I thought my father had, it's not too many that reach out to me 